Oh, very oh. excited, aren't we, Tommy? <laughs> we are. We're very excited. Midweek treat on the menu today. Yes, Jack O'Keefe has a little Halloween treat for us. You're going to have a, a smash burger, we're calling oh, it. Oh, they're smashing. Smashing! Oh, like yeah. I've been all morning for a pull. I need this this morning. Come on. Right, I'm going to go quick because you're pressuring me now. Yeah, come right, on. You don't want any rare burgers. So, mince, high fat mince in your supermarket, about 18 20% mint. Fat. Get it in! Straight into the pan like that. So high fat as in the cheaper mint? Yes, the so cheapest not, mint. <laughs> not lean, not yeah. lean mint. Not the then. lean beef mint. No. Parchment paper down and then just squish it. Oh, you gotta yeah. get it nice and thin. You see, you can almost see through it, it's so thin. So you don't need it to be a perfect circle? No, circle. sure what? Sure look, nothing's perfect in life. Far okay. for you, Tommy, of course, and Alan. Well, sorry, I'm, I'm watching this. What are you saying? <laughs> no, that was very cringe. I'm not going to repeat it again. Right, salt it up. While they're browning off, we're going to make a slaw. So to make this more Halloween-y, we're going to put some pumpkin into the burger, but not into the meat, into so, a slaw. Yeah, now this is where we were getting confused earlier on. We thought you were going to mix um, so, all this, including Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, into the mince and fry it all up. So it's a Halloween take some slash pumpkin. Christmas. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Take some pumpkin, peel it, grate it into a bowl with some shredded Brussels sprouts. Just cut them in half like that. Line them up. You could use cabbage if you wanted at home or iceberg lettuce or whatever you wanted. Or you could just have meat and cheese. There's nothing wrong with that. So, so, sorry, this is a slaw. So this is to go on top of the burger? In the it? burger, almost like a salad. Oh, okay. To make it healthy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get your five a day in. Right. Beautiful. Time to flip the burgers. When you're flipping them, make sure you get right underneath it with a spatula. And look, this is the perfect meal at home for families. If you want to treat yourselves during the midterm with the family or whatever, you know. Once you see that lovely caramelization, you've got all that crispiness, all that flavor. Some smoked applewood cheese, or you can use any kind of artisan cheese you want. Pop it in. And tell me, so why did you flatten it down so much? Because these side of burgers are more common in the fast food industry and they're really popular because of the mouth texture and the crunch oh, when you bite okay. into it. Once all that goes in, bit of smoked bacon. Now, the secret, splash of cider. Like so, into the hot pan, grab a lid, cover it. That will help all that cheese melt down. And smell that. Oh, hit yourself in the face Cover with the cheese. cheese. Um, so, so the the thin one does that kind of keep? Because you see these big fat Hold burgers. Hold on a second. I'm lost. Is that cheese gone on top of that? Cheese and bacon, yeah. Oh, and then okay. the heat and the steam is going to melt Where's the cheese the a lot quicker. Where's the pumpkin gone? Oh, the pumpkin's in the salad. Pumpkin's oh, in there with some Brussels sprouts. Boys, man, I'm telling you. Come on, <laughs> we keep going. Mayonnaise, smoked paprika for my burger sauce. Mayonnaise, smoked paprika, horseradish sauce to give it a nice little spicy kick. Oh. Yeah. Cider vinegar, just to give it a, a little hint. What was that, sorry? Cider vinegar. Cider vinegar. Cider and vinegar. then pinch of garlic powder, pinch of salt, pinch of sugar, and mix it all together. A lot of pinches in there, isn't there? Oh, a lot of pinches. <laughs> just for a bit of mayo. It's um, not just a bit of mayo, it's fancy <laughs> sauce. His sauce, his speciality sauce. Take that speciality sauce. Oh, you're putting it in on top of that now. And make a really wet coleslaw. Ah, okay. Toss all that together, get it all nice and coated. Now, I have to say, Jack, it's the first time I've ever had coleslaw that's had Brussels sprouts in it. This is the first for everything. That's true. So, so in that... Oh, yeah, go on, right? No. Cheese is melted. Is that melted enough for you, yeah? That it is now. perfect. No, yeah. but is it that... Is that the way you like it there? Yeah, yeah? because as, it's kind of, as you're plating it up, it'll keep on melting down. To be honest, I... Oh, you're oh, getting I'm a that. double burger. Oh, you... Is oh. that my one? <laughs> Who's getting that? You can have a lady in the tramp moment now. <laughs> Tommy's literally going, um, hold on, you mean there's only one burger? Oh, there's only one burger. I'm going to cook the second one off here. Oh, oh yeah, but that You might... have to share it, like lady in the tramp moment, only with burger rather than spaghetti. Slime. Have, have you got a knife and fork? So we can cut it. Wow. Yeah, I'll cut it for you. And then your last piece on top. Double slaw. Look at that, look. Isn't that oh, art? Yeah. In like, I, could, I could actually tell revenue, I'm claiming the tax back on that, because that's an art form right there. That like, is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So, tell me, so the, it, talk to me about the slaw, because that's... Can, what, I, can we have it over here? Where are you? Oh, yeah, cut, cut it in you, half for us. Yeah. You lost me on the slaw. So you have Brussels sprouts and pumpkin. Yeah. Then what was in the, in the mayo? The mayo is just full-fat mayonnaise, because it yeah. has to be. Um, what else? Garlic powder. Uh, garlic powder, smoked paprika, horseradish, oh, sugar, and a splash of cider vinegar. Now, guys, oh, right. I have no cutlery. You have to eat with your okay. hands, okay? 
Very good, there you go, Tommy. Just like 5am coming out of Coppers on Harper Street. <laughs> well, that's it. It's not exact. It's probably not the healthiest, sis, but it's oh, a look, bit of look, I'm not going to like anyone. It's well, not healthy. It's a treat. It's something fun during midterm to do with family, friends. If you're having friends over a dinner party, it's, it's just enjoyable food that makes everyone happy. But mm. it would be healthier, would it not, if you just did the mince and maybe a low-fat sort of yeah, dressing you could, and like stuff you could, like you, that? You could even use turkey. Like, I often, and I know this, people are going to drop dead at home and it's they find really out. really tasty. I've done this with turkey burgers, and I will, at least once a week at home, do it with turkey burgers. Just higher protein, and it's leaner, it doesn't bog you down as much. But look, it, like, once every fortnight, it's perfectly fine to have something like Would that. Would it be a case with the turkey burgers, you flatten them down flatten as well? Flatten them out as well, yeah. Turkey burgers, just give them a good seasoning. So we're in there, open the packet of mince, and then just hit it with some salt, maybe garlic, stuff like that. I actually like to put, when I'm using turkey mince, I actually tend to chop up some trees up and put it through the turkey mince, just to kind of give it a little bit of fat and a little bit of flavour. Because if it's too lean and you overcook mm. it, it can taste like liver. But like as I said, like this is this is not healthy food. It's just fun food. It, it puts a smile on your face. Is it easy to get the full fat mince though in the, oh, in yeah. the thing? Because everywhere I see now, it's all lean mince. I know you can. Yeah. The ordin just if you buy the ordinary mince. You'll like, see you know. it says it on eighteen percent, eighteen percent fat in it. That's what you want. Oh, Ideally, eighteen percent. Eighteen percent is what's okay. in that. Your good burger chains. I won't mention them, but they generally hover around the twenty-two, twenty-three percent fat oh, per yeah. meat. And what they do is you generally it's natural fat. It's not forced fat. So they'll take a bit of what we call chuck, which is a shoulder from the forequarter of a mm. cow, and then we'll take some brisket and maybe some neck or tongue or cheek or anything like that. All right. And the brisket has that natural fat content in it anyway. Oh, and they mix it all up and, and you mix it all, it all together. together. Then, yeah. And that's it. And that's what gives you your flavour. So you're balancing a bland, lean meat with a heavily flavoured meat that moves a lot on the animal. I'm listening to Alan here You can see the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, Tommy, just, just, just keep asking him I questions. Just, I'll, just give, no, okay, I'll no. give you the cider there. Oh, no, I don't want the cider. Should, should be a milkshake, oh. I know. Oh. It's right. delicious. Yeah, but isn't that it is. fantastic? Yeah, oh, it's good. No, it's actually uh, delicious. The only bad thing about this is you've only given me half of it. And do you know what? There's plenty in half of it, I think. <laughs> Jack, thank you so much no for problem. coming in this morning. Pleasure. I think you'd better get the other two on because Mirren's looking over very <laughs> angrily at us.